Good afternoon, everyone. This is episode 73 of the uh, Rave Rovers save. And uh, where you left us off last, we played... Um, we didn't have the best of um, best of episodes. We drew 0-0 with Livingston. We lost 2-1 to Celtic. Drew with Dundee United, but we managed to beat Hearts 2-0. So hopefully this episode will be better. Um, we are playing Falkirk, Aberdeen, and then Rangers twice. So we'll just see how we get on with them. Um, but yeah, just I got ever so confused near the end of the last episode, thinking that we had the transfer deadline day to sort out, but we didn't. So that's good. But yeah, and there we go. So let's have a look at the lineup. We've got the usual. Oh, we've got Diaz as left back for some reason. Um, the Rockies in defence. We've got Kasnicki and Rios in midfield. And then the usual players there and then uh, Andy Yanu is playing up front because I think Hoyland is just not uh, ready actually I'm going to put Tezigel there oh no they reckon Andy Yanu is better okay actually should we play should we give Seeker a run, and up, a run out I think we'll give Seeker a run out even though he's probably not as rated as well but yeah Seeker's going to make his debut or is it pronounced Sika Ziz oh no sorry oh, there's a Z there Ziska, Ziska, there you go, Ziska, I will get these names right if it kills me, right, let's see how we get on, Ziska and maybe potentially Ugru might make his debut at some point in this game, playing Falkirk, Right, Ruiz to line it up. Oh, good save by the goalie, but we got it back on the rebound, Vivas. Uh, is this going to be allowed, though? VAR will decide. Goal awarded, good. Right, we are top of the league now. Get in. Okay, straight across to Ayano. Ooh, Ayano with the techers there with the shot. Oh, 1 1. Well, let's get something. Let's get the lead back at the first half. That's it, there we go. Rios. Uh, Rios to Ruiz. Back to No Rocky. Bit of passing exchanges going on here. Oh, that was a terrible miscontrol there by Coella. Can we get it back though? Oh, we do. Bar. Oh, what a call by Prendon Bar. That deserves a replay, that does, that deserves a slow, ro slow, mo replay, as they call it. Right, let's click on this again. So, there we go, Bar gets it back, takes a couple of uh, touches and then just blasts it in. Uh, how do I stop this? Come on. Right. Uh, why are you not let me click on you? Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. Right, two nil, two one up at half time. Try and demand a bit more though. Free kick to them. We get it back though. Krasniki gives it to Bar. Bar to Coella. Get in. Brendan Barr having a great game, score and assist for him.
Right then, can we get another one? We're not too greedy here, but you know, the more goals the better. Diaz. Ooh, Diaz nearly. Right, let's take Ruiz off because he's not been playing well. We'll put Anna Wanu on. Right, Astra Dillo is coming on. Got a free kick to us, Krasnicki. Floats it into the box. Headed out. Rios now. Ooh, nearly. It's a shame Siska's not playing well, isn't it? It would have been nice for him to get a goal. Right, let's take him off. Oh, we can't take him off. Hopefully you'll uh, get a goal now. It's encouraging. There you go. Right, we've got a throw in a little corner. Oh, there you go. Nathan Anyawanu, who probably would have scored a couple if he played up front instead of Siska, but we took a chance. We've got to give our youngsters a bit of game time when needed. Oh, there's another highlight. You never know. Siska might get a goal now. Rios to Beeston. Back to Vivas. Uh, Krasnicki across to... There we go. And too many passes. And one go there. Got a corner. This will probably be the last highlight of the game, I think. So will probably go straight to the goalkeeper's hands, if I'm honest with you. Oh, headed out. So that's that then. No, we got it back. No, end of that. There you go. Good little win. Top of the league now. Uh, praise Emil Hyland, who's training. I'm glad. I'm like. I'm liking that the players are willing to stick to a target for training. So that's good. Ah, uh, Brendan Barr's out for three weeks. That's so annoying. He's been a really good player for us. Right, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode, just bear with us, Aberdeen next, and we're back for the part two of the episode, and uh, we'll just skip through these, so the, improve, the, the new training schedules are working already I think, because he's already improving, so that's good, uh, I think we'll get a bit more People doing well. Uh, he's not happy, so we'll look to get rid of him. Rias is out for ten days. Chuck is out for six. Rojas is out for two. We had uh, Beeston, Bivaz and Barr in the team of the week. Stay Cole's out for a few days, Bruce is out for a few days. We will probably get more little injuries here and there because of the training schedules now. But luckily we've got a decent enough squad that we can uh, handle it, I think. We've got a few uh, Scottish Scottish under under eighteen under nineteen, sorry, in there now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six in there. We've got uh, Sandy Joyner. Is he is he a loan signer? I think he's on loan, isn't he? I know we signed him for three million. One moment. So England under twenty. International and then we've got Lennon Miller in the new Lennon Miller in the under twenty ones, even though he's twenty two. Uh, Richie Moran in the Republic under twenty ones and David Fletcher in the Northern Ireland under twenties. Emil Hoyland continues to do well in training. Uh, Aberdeen next game. So 
have a look at Hoyland. Yeah. Uh, training. Coach report? No. Development. There we go. Progress. Yeah, he's getting a little bit better each time. Off the balls up slightly. Uh, we'll have a better look. Well, it'll, it'll probably improve over time. And then hopefully he'll, he'll do better on the pitch as well for it. Right, postpone that game, yep. Right, Aberdeen now. So we got, I think it's the straightforward team lineup here. Valencia's on the right, Coelho's in the middle, Rue's on the left, and Hoyle up front. So there you go, we'll see how we get on. Right, I've got my dog Baxter on the arm here. He's just woken up. Keeps trying to nibble on my Rafe Rovers top, which I'm not happy about. Don't destroy Daddy's top. I said, go back to sleep. Right, nothing happened so far. First highlight of the game, I think. Valencia. Bombs ahead. Will he lose the ball? No, he doesn't. Tricks past him. Trickles past him, sorry. Oh, what a, what a great goal there. Good goal by Valencia. One nil up. Played just as many games as Celtic now, which is good. Rangers have got two games ahead though, but even if they win both their games, they're still going to be one point behind us if we win this game. Sneaky. Oh, there we go. That might make it a little bit easier. Slate has already been booked, so he's now off. So I hope it'll be straight sailing from here. Let's go a bit more attacking, I think. It's, uh, I don't know. I'll try and encourage Hoyland in a minute. He's, uh, he started the season so well, and now he's just been playing poorly again. He's a very, anno he's a very annoying player at times. He has the potential to be a world-class striker, but he just he can't... He can't seem to keep the consistency all season. Vivas. Petrovic, come on then, Hoyland, let's get this goal. Yarni. Ah. Right, corner to us, Ruiz. Floats it over. Oh, headed out. Still got it though, Krasnicki. No. Yarni. Ooh, that's it, Hoyland. That's what we like to see. Well done, mate. Well done. Ah, oh, VAR's gonna ruin it for you there. Oh no, no, it doesn't. Well done, Hoyland. Right, let's take Ruiz off. We'll put Nathan Awani on. Any, sorry, anyone, any, any, no, any, any Anwu, any Anwu. There you go, any Anwu. Oh no, I've put Sisker on, I didn't mean to put it, I didn't mean to put Sisker on. Oh well, Hoyland gets in the walk, well done, Hoyland.
Right, let's put Ziska in a more familiar position. Uh, I don't think we can. Uh, can we put Astrilo on? Yeah, I'll put him on. Uh, and then we'll push him slightly up there. There we go. Happy days. Everyone's happy. Right, Siska, can you get a goal now? Or is Hoyland going to get his hat trick? Hoyland, beautiful pass. Go on, Siska. Yes, get in. Well done. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, we're not going to have two goals allowed from VAR decision. This one's going to be disallowed. Poor Siska. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. Well done. Hoyland with a man of, ma man of the match performance. Two goals, one assist. It's good to see Siska scoring as well. Right, oh, we're second. I thought we were top of the league then. Oh, God, we haven't got a game for 22 days. Uh, right then, I'll be back in a couple of minutes with the next part of the episode. Just bear with us. And we're back. Um, took a while to holiday the 22 days, but we've finally done it. And uh, we'll just go through these as quickly as we can. Uh, my dog is down on the floor, by the way, so, yeah, just bear that in mind. <laughs> you might want to come, come back up here. It's very hard to record episodes and stream on Twitch, for instance, when, uh, when you've got a puppy that won't leave you alone. Uh, we had no offer to Camacho, but that's understandable as the transfer window is closed. Uh, Hedek has been called up to the Scottish under-18s to replace another player. Gas gets his first goal for Chile. Let's have a look at that actually. Uh, we've, only got, we've only produced one, that's Gary Rui. Actually, I'll have a look in a second and see how Gary Rui's doing this season. He's had a few injuries during the international period, which is understandable. So the, uh, the training that I've done for the young players seems to be working really well. He has low self-belief though, which is not good. Brendan Barr got the goal of the, the month. I got the manager of the month. that Alba's not exactly done what I thought he would I thought he would oust uh, Hoyland out the team but Hoyland's decided to step his game up Right, 
let's see how Gary Rui is doing. So he's played a couple of games. I don't. I think Italy start their season later than Scotland, so he didn't play two games, but done well when he's played. So it's good. Actually, I forgot to see if he got cap for Scotland. Uh, we've got Rangers now. Got double header against Rangers. Let me just cash these in first. Uh, I won't. I'll leave that one actually. Buy that one. Higgins looks like a pretty good player to be honest in the making. Sell that one. That's all there. Uh, Gary Rui. Let's see if he's been cut for Scotland yet. I'll be amazed if he hasn't. No, still not. What's he got to do? Like, seriously, what, let's have a look at the Scotland team. Let's have a look at the right back options here. He's not even in the, the score. I mean, granted, they are quite. They've got Nathan Patterson and Hickey in their defence, and obviously Callum Ramsey. But even so, he's, Gary Rue's potential value is better than theirs. Uh, I can only put it down to the fact that they're more experienced in a way. But then you say that, and then. Oh, I don't know. Playing for Juventus as well, you'd have thought they'd have jumped at the chance to call them up for Scotland. Uh, right, here's the lineup for the Rangers game. We've got Tickle in goal, Ayano right back, Vivas, Diaz in centre defence, Bruce is left back, Kataniki and Petrovic in the middle of midfield, Coella, Barr, Ruiz in attacking midfield positions, and Hoyland up front. Right, first highlight goes to Rangers, free kick over the bar. Boring game so far, isn't it? Hopefully we can pick that up now. Right, Petrovic, Coella, across to uh, Kresenicki. A little bit of passing exchanges going here. Hoyland sets up Bar. Bar trickles it in, nice. Like a Griezmann special, that was. You don't always have to blast the ball in. Nice bit of, you know, trickling in the ball every so often. 1-0 to us. Oh, uh, bar needs to come off now. Uh, we'll take Ruiz off as well because he's not been playing very well. Right, 1-0. There you go. Bit of a boring game. Sorry I wasn't very uh, 
talkative. I was watching my puppy at the same time, sorry. Uh, making sure he uh, he accidentally fell off the sofa literally just about two minutes before this part of the episode. So just a bit concerned about him because he, he, he landed and he yelped. And, uh, but he seems all right. So he's playing with his toy so I can relax a bit now. I don't need to take him to the vets. Right, two days and then we've got Rangers again. I will be rotating players in that game though. This mask do not get me itchy sometimes on it. Yeah. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Get this done. Right, what we need to do is click on this, rotate it, full rotation. There you go. So we probably won't win this game because we're playing quite a lot of reserve players here. Rose has in goal. Louise Jackson makes his debut as right back. Is he even a right back? Uh, he can't play right back, so that's fine. And then Kloskajun and Beeston in centre defence. Bannon as left back. Johnson and Rios in midfield. Uh, Mulligetta on the right. Bar's still playing though. Medina's on the left and Tesco up front. Uh, let's see how we get on. I think Rangers will beat us, but you never know. Tend to concentrate on the Scottish Premiership first and then the Europa League and then the Scottish FA Cup. The rest we're not too bothered about. Chaddy Ria scores already for Rangers, three minutes gone. Already had to make some substitutions. I think. I don't know actually. I thought we just had to make some substitutions then. No, 2 0 down. I don't want this to be a humiliating uh, defeat. By the looks of it, it will be. Oh well, if we lose 2 0, 3 0, it won't be the end of the world, I suppose. Not looking good. Mulligetta's injured as well. As I said, I'm not too bothered about the Scottish League Cup. I'd rather just be out of the competition as quickly as possible. So, you know, it is what it is. Right, 
That's that then, isn't it? Oh well, right. I'm going to call it a day. Um, thank you as always. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Enjoy the rest of your day and all the best. See ya. Bye.